Hello, baby. A loser for Ray. I just, it's just, it's a little much. I don't think you know how to handle it, Ray. <laughs> no, I don't. I love it. Welcome to Simine Sports Show, Wednesday edition, NFL recap week 17. Not the last week of the season. There's one more. Uh, thank, thank goodness. Thank, thank you, Goodell, I guess. Uh, welcome to the show. It's Fuhrer. Goodell. I'm supposed to give our opening takes before. Right. Um, rewind. Just uh, anyone listening, rewind. Rewind this back. And then fast forward uh, 15 seconds. Okay, thank you. Uh, Hi, thanks for that, Ray. Why don't we go with our opening takes? Ray, I have here on your email, your opening take is Bill is a cunt. Would you like to stick with that? Well, because Bill's been stealing it, so I just threw that out there. But, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. Uh, MVP voting right now, Aaron Rodgers, one. Tom Brady, two. And my boy, Joey Burrows, number All right, Bill, uh, if you'd like to go uh, next with an opening take, feel free. My boy, Joe Burrows. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think last couple of weeks ago, Ray said uh, karma has come down to Tampa Bay, and we all kind of laughed at him. You know, Super Bowl number seven. No, karma happened this weekend with the likes of Antonio Brown that he constantly has went bat for the last two years and has made excuse after excuse for Antonio Brown to see him quit on his team. This is all Brady. This is what Brady wanted. This is Brady, the GM, forcing his hand. A guy that Bruce Arian said he wanted out of the fucking out of Tampa Bay. He never wanted to sign him. He didn't want to sign him. And then with the fake fax card, he said we he has to earn it. Then Godwin, the only reason here, Godwin got hurt and then to quit on his team. It's a joke. I think it's laughable what he did. I've never seen anything like it. And it's just it all goes back down to Brady. This is Brady being the GM. This is Brady wanting to put the super team, get all his his buddies together. Well, Carmen's a bitch, Brady. Yeah. Yeah. Good take. Uh, that was, uh, I will, I think, touch on the uh, Antonio Brown fiasco. That was, uh, I have a couple of thoughts. Mostly it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love uh, it. I think it's hilarious. I don't even <laughs> care. I, like, it's Antonio Brown, so fuck him. But, dude, that's so, it's pure hilarious. It's, yeah, it's just Brown. entertainment. Good for him. I, thank you, Antonio Brown. And thank you, Tom Brady. Uh, I, I Opening take, I was going to go with that. I guess I will go with uh, just a fa- parody is officially back in the NFL for 20 years. It was uh, Brady's and the Patriots show and anybody that could keep up with them this year. I mean, I, you could say the Packers are in that realm, but does anyone really trust Aaron Rodgers to go win a Super Bowl the way he's been playing in the regular season? He had his chance last year at home. History would say no, game. especially with Brady in his way in the NFC. Um, and obviously on the AFC side, the Chiefs losing to fucking Rays Bengals in the game of the week, let's be honest. Um, blowing it too, by the way. Well, they Two were a defensive 14? penalties in the end zone on fourth down against the fucking Bengals. Holy call. Two, yeah, two fuck ups by Joe Burrow trying to what spike it at the end of the game. He had two tries to spike it or kneel or whatever it was. I don't remember the exact. Well, thing. what the last time he no, uh, he tried his, to quarterback sneak his because leg. he was trying he, to kill the he clock. He got a boo boo on his leg, so he had to go out of the game and let the backup win it for him. Uh, so yeah, that's your top five quarterback what in the a, NFL. What a pussy. Uh, it just the parody is is everywhere. Parody is everywhere for weeks. They thought everyone thought the Patriots were going to win it, uh, win it all, and now it's you know it's anybody's game. I think on both sides. So good to see. I guess if you're an NFL fan, is what my point is. Good to see that true parody is back in the league. It's even a little bit fun as a Patriots fan being back in the playoffs and not totally sure that you're going to make it to the AFC East, AFC Finals and uh, championship and, and Super Bowl. So. Um, that's my take. And now I will uh, welcome us to the Simple Mind Sports Show Wednesday edition NFL recap week 17. Not the last week of the season. Nope. Thank God. Welcome to the show. Uh, this show, of course, is about you, White Birch Brewing, the best craft brewing in New Hampshire, Nashville, New Hampshire. Red address, please. 460 Amherst Street. Good side of Amherst Street. Get on down there. Get a flight, a pint, uh, a stout. Uh, we actually got some snow down south here. So stout yeah, sounds good right about now. Um, it's that time of season. If you can't get to the brewery, then check it at your local beer store. Wherever you get it, tell me Simple Minds Boys sent you. It's always White skiing season. Birch Brewing. You see that uh, look, video I sent you real quick, the TikTok video? 
No, I don't watch any TikTok videos you send me. I don't the know why you there, send me TikTok videos. They I don't watch the them. Guy that, they go, what's, your, what's the best kind of weed you ever had? And he goes, I'll tell you the best kind of weed I've ever had. Cocaine. I can go <laughs> blow that in. <laughs> I was just like, that's fucking Bill. I'll record it for you, Bill, and I'll send it to you so you don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> what's the best weed you've ever had? I'll tell you. Cocaine. I like that. Uh, speaking of a best, let's go with best games of the week. The easy one, Cincinnati and uh, Bengals taken by producer Ray off the top of the show. But let's discuss that game a little bit. Nice comeback from the Bengals. Chiefs were kind of dominating early. And then Jamar Chase just fucking took over. What do you have? Couple, 11 for 266. Couple blown coverages. Let's be honest. It's Dude, that's what is his, his second no touchdown where way. he just ran by everybody. Everybody. Like, There's no bad coverage. Shit. It's just. That boy's fast. Oh, That's shit lot. fucking coverage. It's classic yeah. Chiefs. They do a single high safety. The, the safety got brought up, and they didn't fucking tackle him. That's ter- that's bad defense. You can't, in the NFL, I don't care how fast you are, like, either the defense should know that and play bracket coverage for it or tackle. The Chiefs didn't do that a couple times, but I'm not taking away th- anything away from Jamar Chase. That third and 27 or whatever it was at, in the fourth quarter, that ball that he caught, I mean, that was ridiculous. That was Devontae Adams S in the Sunday night football game. Those two guys, those back shoulder catches, the hands balls, OBJ type shit is, you know, you can't teach that. That's unbelievable, unbelievable, um, you know, skill. Yeah, that a best game of the week. I mean, again, it's not the Chiefs out of number one seed. You kind of put Tennessee up there now. With, that was a big game. And to blow it on the road, I mean, you needed that one, Casey. You would have basically locked up home field because I think next week you have someone real crappy. Can we talk about the end of that fucking game? Yes, please. Bengals, four chances, four cracks at it. Um, and, and you know, to to end the game, they don't get it on the first three. And of course, they decide to go for the touch. That ball, the game is tied 31 31. The Bengals fail to get in the end zone the first three tries. And of course, in 2021, 2022 NFL, they go for on a fourth down to get the fucking touchdown with 56 seconds left, I think there was. At that point, I think Kansas City had one or no timeouts, and they just can't kick a fucking field goal. You have to get it because you're at the one, and statistics say you, you'll you probably – they failed to get it in – was it two or three times that they failed? You had three, two penalties. Three times, and then he got blown, uh, bailed out on fourth down twice. The first penalty, they were uh, on both sides. So, so was, let me tell you, so that Joe Burrow quarterback sneaked it three times. So his first down on the goal line, Joe Burrow's quarterback sneak – Tony Romo said he was trying to kill a clock. I don't believe it. I think they were trying to score with uh, Joe Burrows. Didn't work. Then they go for it on fourth down. Uh, penalties negated because there was holding on both sides on the offensive line and then defensive holding in the end zone. So now you get the ball back. It's first and goal again. No, no, no. Joe it's Burrow. down again. Oh, fourth down again. Replay the down. Same it was thing holding happened. on the Chiefs again. Yeah. And then they get the first down and then they try to run it in. Nope. Try to run it in. Nope. Then they finally said, fuck it. Spiked it. Field goal game. So that's yeah, six when they, times. Well, when they got when they got the fourth down penalty, that was they were killing clock. That was actually yeah. killing clock. And then they yeah. brought it down and, and kicked the field goal. And even that was a little bit iffy because they only gave himself the two seconds. Or whatever. It, it it just what the, what is going on? Just kick the fucking field goal. Rely on your defense. There's 56 Baltimore seconds left. Twice. They have no timeouts. Kick the field goal. Make them come down and score. You see Zach Taylor, the head coach of the Bengals, crying in his press conference too. No, talking about we'll <laughs> yeah, well, he's crying. About what just because he won because they won and they clinched the uh, AFC North title oh, with that win. God, they're all right. Yeah, I'm with Bill. Give me the Bengals <laughs> first first week and, and playoffs wild card. Give me the fucking Bengals. Give me Dick for Mill 2.0. <laughs> fucking crying ass <laughs> pussy. Oh, by hey, the way, got, uh, everyone's got dying two Super lately. I don't think we've touched on this, but uh, R.I.P. Dan Reeves and the Dirty Bird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing Played against Dan Reeves, right? We don't have a nine, we don't have a beat nine Super Reeves. Bowls he was a part of. And yeah. how many did he win? Uh, a couple with the Cowboys in the early. Yeah, he lost with Denver. He never won as a head coach, right? Yeah, he lost with Denver because he was a coach for, for the drive, I believe, and then he lost with Atlanta. Yep. Against Denver, right? Was that ninety eight? Yep. Yeah. 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 Was that um, second. When his safety went to Tijuana to get hookers and fucking went AWOL. No, that was a center. Was it a center? No, it was. I'm sorry. You're right. It was a center. God, I forgot about that. I don't know that whole, that whole story. Uh, you want to do some? Let me throw some other games out there. Bill, did you have any off the top of your head? You want me to throw? Give you some. 
Cowboys Arizona wasn't terrible. It's a pretty good game. It, it probably saw one of the catches of the year on the fake punt by. I, I don't like him with catches. I don't do. I don't watch. I know, but it's just the just the way with the guy right in his face. Guy didn't even turn around and he just pinned it. I don't. I don't like to watch it either. But I happened to watch it live and I was like, oh my fucking god, it was a good game. I mean, against two two playoff teams, you know, two teams fighting for the division. I expected a pretty good game out of it in Arizona on the road. They needed that one. Can I ask you something about that that helmet catch specific? Did he ever bring it to his chest? Didn't he? He pinned it all the way down to the ground, and then they blew the whistle. And then he pinned it on his like shoulder. Like if he don't know how brings it to his chest before they blow the whistle, isn't that ball still live? See, that's what I thought too. But I think it's just with the hand on it, and it's if it's like I don't know. I don't know the exact rule because I don't know what a fucking catch is in the NFL. Yeah, I don't know what it is. No one does. I, I just had that thought because he never brought it to his chest before the whistle was blown. I was like, it was a, how is that a fucking catch? It was a penalty anyway, so they were getting it no matter what. But, man, it was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, what athletic, about that Vikings, the like, Vikings uh, offensive lineman catching that ball off the tip? Oh, yeah. The, the See, that, that was pretty fucking good, too. Yeah. And that a was blowout. Good. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, you want to talk Raiders Colts? They had, that, that was, was a pretty catch in that one, too. T.Y. Hilton with a crazy catch. Yep. Um, did that show I you? Didn't tell you of, I didn't see tell a lot anything of about game. the Colts. Are they, they're a pretender. Carson Wentz sucks. Well, you he stopped Jonathan Taylor. You can't fucking win the game. And Wentz also came off the COVID list. I mean, Wentz hasn't been good a lot this year, but there's been times where he's looked like the quarterback that he was in 2017, where he was looking like MVP caliber. I mean, they should have beat the Raiders. They should have beat the Raiders. You should see, did you see that scramble he had? He had a scramble. I think they were on like the 40. He had a scramble. Throws into the end zone. No joke. Four Raiders around uh, all the, the closest receiver on the Colts. He's he got threw into like <clears throat> he's got Colts, are, brain. Colts aren't going anywhere. No. Carson, Carson Wentz. No. You could say Bucks, Jets, too. I mean, that went down to the final couple minutes. I mean, a game that should have been a blowout was actually entertaining. The only thing you need to watch is three yards, part. 93 yeah. yards, no timeouts, no Antonio Brown, no Chris Godwin. You went to, you know, the best game on that team was Gronk. Yeah. Gronk was a monster. Gronk was a monster in that game. He had some great plays. Fuck you, mute Ray. him, pl- mute him, please. <laughs> Fuck you, Ray. I was against Gronk in the fan. This is what he lives for now. My the fantasy team I was against it had Gronk and he, and he torched me. Fuck you, Ray. No one cares. It's like playing with James Walsh. Oh god! Yeah, wow. Thank Ooh, you. That's a that's <laughs> tough. thanks. Wow. I'll stop that's now. Tough. Uh, I'm just looking at the other scores here. I didn't see much of this Rams Ravens game. The sh- stuff that I saw, the Rams looked like shit. Specifically, Matt Stafford looked like shit. Did he have three picks, two picks. So, no, for t- I think it was definitely two. I know he, he had two. In the I first don't half, I don't. I yeah. thought he threw another one in the second half, but he looked awful. And the Ra- and the Ravens still couldn't uh, beat him. The play of the game was OBJ fucking punching that guy in the asshole. Yeah, he'll get upset. not OBJ scoring the game winning touchdown with uh-uh. seconds remaining. <laughs> OBJ uppercutting the guy in the asshole. <laughs> Play of the game. He's, he's been pretty good for them too. OBJ. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think he's got a touchdown uh, almost every game. Worst games yeah. of the weekend. This was entertaining and I watched give some you of two. it. But... Okay, go ahead. Bears, Giants, hmm. Patriots, Jags. Okay. I'll give yeah. you a third. Green Bay, fucking Minnesota. Okay. Um, yeah, Patriots, Jags, Bears, Giants is worse because they neither team is very good. Did you hear? Because the we, Patriots know, look good enough, like good look good doing it. Did you hear Joe Judge after the game? Please tell me you heard his press conference. Yeah, I did. yeah, I did. There's, I there's guys bit. that have left this team that want to come in and basically still play for them. <laughs> yeah, okay. I changed the culture. <laughs> I changed the environment. Sure, you've won ten games in two years. <laughs> and they br- and they're bringing him back. That's the crazy part. With the quarterback. Gettleman's got to get fired. Which they just fired their president, and they're shocked that they're not cleaning the whole house. They're forcing him to retire. They're doing what they did to Tom Coughlin at the end of his run. They're basically forcing him out. He'll retire. He's like 70 years old. He isn't. Well, the Giants can't have a bad mark on their their record. You know, they Mm -hmm. can't be firing guys every two or three years. Coaches they can, just not GMs. Yeah. Uh, we pretty much touched on every game except for what do you think of that Seattle Lions game? I thought it was it. ugly. It was ugly. St. Brown, guy I've never heard of, fucking took off DK Metcalf. At don't make me touchdowns. don't make me mute you, Bill. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I was like, 
<laughs> a, 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 a little bit of self pity. That you know what I have to say about that game? Fuck that fucking game. Fuck that game. Fuck that game. They scored fifty four in the fucking snow. Yep. God damn it. Who the fuck is Aaron St. Brown or the hell his goddamn name is? Akon. He's came on. He's come on in the last couple of weeks. Oh, okay. I don't, cool, he, I don't know where he's come from, though. <laughs> uh, biggest surprises. Uh, these are always fun. The biggest surprises, according to uh, the obvious one. Jamar Chase, when drafted, was labeled as a terrible pick for the Bengals. Uh, they should have addressed their old line problems and never have drafted Chase so high at a so high period. Uh, 11 catches, 266 yards and three touchdowns. Watching those catches was like watching a game of Madden. Unreal player, offensive rookie of the year. This was the same guy that said he couldn't see the ball in preseason, right? No, because it was bigger. So the, the college ball football is supposedly a little smaller and he couldn't get his hands to adjust. But I think he's got like three, four drop passes this year. He's been a fucking stud. He's probably going to win rookie of the year at this point. Um, totally. Um yeah, we've t- we've touched on him. He was he was good. Uh, this is clearly the biggest surprise of the, of the weekend. Antonio Brown had officially gone crazy. That's not the surprise, but uh, him jumping off the field was amazing. After coaches told him to go in, he replied that his ankle's not 100 percent and couldn't go back in. I think that's suspect. By the way, I think that that's after the thought. hearsay. Yeah, people are his people are throwing it out there. The coaches told him to go in, into the locker room and AB lost it, stripped off his jersey, pad, shirts, gloves, left the stadium in an Uber to get its own flight home. Just to chronicle this a little bit more, uh, everyone's probably seen the video already. Mike Evans starts to talk him down, doesn't work, throws his shoulder pads and everything else, flips the deuces sign to the Jets fans, runs through the end zone while the game is live. Security <laughs> thought they were, he was a streaker. They were ready to go tackle him. That would have been awesome. Un, I mean, unbelievable entertainment and then just to add on this the in the post game bruce arians right off the bat said he's no longer buck people are saying that he was told he was cut on the field which you can't even do classic arians hardo move like i'm fucking cut. Yeah, you can't you. cut him to what tomorrow or wednesday <laughs> yeah. yeah it's gotta go through the whole channels and then after then the other side of it this pussy brady that like we we call this now they won a super bowl so good for them they win but we did say this was going to blow up and it is boiling we got a dumpster fire 2.0 Brooklyn Nets style down there because Brady said that most people, Antonio Brown's misunderstood and tough situation and we should have empathy for every blah, 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 fucking blah. mental health, blah, blah, blah. Fuck Antonio Brown. He's not mentally ill. He's an asshole. He's a piece of shit, selfish, self-righteous, stupid fucking asshole. That's what he is. And, yeah. and hilarious. Like Bill. See, you just fucking summed up Bill. <laughs> And <laughs> just <laughs> shrugged. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, this is really a surprise, but I'm glad you brought this in here just to uh, give it its due. Ben, Big Ben is calling it a career. Uh, Monday Night Football will be his last game, most likely. Um, I guess to the, uh, I guess week 18. Maybe well, it was the last game. home game ever. Last yes, home game. Last okay. Home. Uh, 17 years in Pittsburgh. He has played in his last home game Monday night. Big is big is big Ben a Hall of Famer? Yes. Yes. First ballot. Yeah. I don't. I don't even. Are you serious? Stats. You think he's first a fucking... Hall of Famer? I'll read you the stats. I'll read the stats. Bill, six-time Pro Bowler, uh, two-time Super Bowl winner, 2004 um, AP Rookie a- of the Year, Offensive Player of the Rookie of the Year. Don't you trust? No. Associated Press. Associated, Associated Press. Oh, okay. Associated Press. Votes mm-hmm. on rookie of the year. Yep. Okay. Mm. Call me, color me stupid. Uh, 63,000 passing yards ish, 416 touchdowns, 200 interceptions. Here's Ray's point, I guess. Quote I am man enough to admit when I am wrong about something. Oh, no, this was something different. <laughs> I'll read that after. Uh, ben Roethlisberger is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, got two Ooh, rings. E- Eli Manning's the first battle Hall of Famer. Hmm. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I don't know if we can pull this up side by side, but the um, statistics for Eli and ben, Big Ben, bet they're pretty Big, similar. Big Ben's got him beat. I think Eli has more interceptions. Yeah. Less touchdowns, more interceptions, I bet. Uh, why, do you think Big Ben is not a Hall of Famer, Ray? 
I don't I know everyone in the NFL makes it anyways, like nowadays, like the star power of the quarterback position. I just don't think that, you know, I don't think that resume holds up to being a first ballot Hall of Famer. 57,000 yards, 366 touchdowns. How many interceptions? This is for Eli. Yeah. How many yards did you say? 57? 57, yeah. Holy shit. And they were drafted the same year. 244. Oh. I thought there'd be more interceptions. Like the two Super Bowls, you beat Patriots. I mean, both, both him and Big Ben are first ballot. Maybe Eli might get it on the second ballot, but I think Big Ben's a first ballot Hall of Famer. If if it weren't for the Belichick Brady Patriots, Roethlisberger has at least another ring. Oh, easily. They were the number one seed. How many times in that run? Two or three, two or three times in the Patriots run? Twenty year run. Just oh four. Um I mean you had the oh, they were constantly good. They were constantly oh, one, good. Oh, they four. had two two or three different runs of not dynasty, but really good teams. Oh one, um, weren't they? Oh one when the yeah, first Ben people. Ben came in 04. So I think it was just the 04 he went in there or the 03. Yeah, it was 04 because Big Ben was 15 and one that year. Yeah. But those teams with um in the later years with Le'Veon and Antonio Brown and, and Roethlisberger, those were those teams were picked to win a couple years in a row. They had the best yeah, offense. They always in came here. They always came here. 2016 AFC championship game, they were here. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think, you know, uh, the, the, I think Roethlisberger kind of like some of the other, like Manning and co- you could name a couple of the quarterbacks. They got Jordan by Brady. Mm-hmm. They would yeah. have a couple more rings with, if Brady was not in the picture. So yeah, uh, uh, definitely uh, I'll, I'll miss that. big Ben. I'll miss big Ben. And he wasn't a guy that choked. He wasn't a Phillip rivers. If he was in a big spot, I feared big Ben to make the throw that fucking his, uh, his second throw that Super he Bowl. made in the Super Bowl against Arizona to, um, San Antonio Holmes, Antonio yeah. Holmes. Yeah. Nasty. Money, no. one of the best throws I've ever seen. In that, All right, in let that me spot. read this fucking thing to you. What I, I haven't read the whole thing, but uh, this is raised. Just you want me to read being... it? Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> I am man enough to admit when I am wrong about something, so let me be the first one to admit this. Last year, I made a bet with Richard and Bill saying that Joe Burrow in the next five years would be the top five quarterback in the NFL. I was wrong about that because it's this year. He's top three in the MVP voting. This guy is top five right now in the NFL. You can take him. Tell me fucking three other quarterbacks that are better than him right now. I will laugh in your face. Joe Burrow. Brady, Rodgers, Mahomes. I'll just take just, – just to name three. All okay, right. keep going. Probably put uh, – take Herbert over Burrows. You fuck. Now you're just reaching. No fucking way. I'll Joe take Burrows Russell is Wilson top, over Burrows. No, you wouldn't. Not this year. Joe Burrows is the top five quarterback in the NFL right now. I was wrong by three years. I'm sorry, Joe Burrows. Love you. Uh, Joe Burrows is playing like a top five quarterback right now. If you, if you were going to go and do this right and go statistically and look through his short career versus everyone else and judge it all in what, in, in, in the full landscape of things, I'm not calling Joe Burrows a top five quarterback and show me what he's going to do in the playoffs. He's going to shit his pants. And how much of that is Jamar chase making ridiculous catches like we saw uh, in that other game. I'm not giving you Joe Burrows as a top five quarterback in the league as a whole. He's playing like one right now. Also, if he goes to the AFC championship game. Jets and the, the, didn't he lose the Texans and Jets back to back? What was that back to back loss that they he lost? Wasn't, he, was, he didn't play. Let me ask you this. If he goes to the AFC championship game, do you put respect on his name? I already have respect on his name. I'm just not giving you. The, You're just not giving me respect. I'm okay. not giving no, you never. respect. <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm not giving right. you the win. He wasn't a top five quarterback coming in. He's playing like one now. Um, we will wait till the beginning of next year to determine if he's a top five quarterback. Okay, very good. And fuck you, Ray. You fucking, in, you just, you don't know how to live on the other side of life. You need to go back into your sewer that where you belong. Listen, listen, for the amount of shit both of you give me and that fancy football he gives me. I- You've earned it. I know you have muted again. You've earned every fucking piece of shit that you get. Best matchups in week 18, Cowboys, Eagles. The Eagles are the seventh seed, need a win to stay in the playoffs. You got a NFC East matchup there. Usually is uh, it's pretty good. Rams, 49ers, 49ers are the sixth seed, need a win to stay in the playoffs. Um, Trey Lance looked okay. Not a, not a third overall. Not a third overall pick. Not great. Not mm. great on Sunday. He did not look good, but um, 
I think we can say that Kyle Shanahan, as much shit as we've given him, was right in trying to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo because that pussy can't stay on the field. Yep. He's glass. He's glass Gordon. Good God. Uh, and they got Chargers and Raiders, which uh, winner is the uh, in the playoffs, loser is bounced. That's big. That's big Monday Night Football game. That's a that's a high stakes. Game Kudos right to the NFL. There. Kudos to the NFL. Get it right. I bet Monday the Chargers Night. blow them the fuck out. I don't I know. The Raiders so are too. Raiders are on two game winning streak. They've been playing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get to uh, the famous Doctor Big Max power rankings. I haven't looked at them, but now looking at them, wow! Right off the bat. Kudos to you, Ray. This takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of balls to drop your own team this far down. Thank you. Takes a lot of balls. Uh, uh, why start- don't you uh, Why don't you give us your uh, first five here, Raymond? Absolutely. Uh, number ten, I have the ten and six New England Patriots. Number nine, the ten and six Buffalo Bills. At number eight, I have the eleven and five Dallas Cowboys. At number seven, Bills, Tennessee Titans at 11 and five. And at number six, I also have Bills, Kansas City Chiefs at 11 and five. Bill? I don't like the, I don't like the Chiefs at six. Of I course you don't. Chiefs need to be higher. What's I that the, bet that you two have against the Chiefs? I forgot. I have the Chiefs. He has the Patriots for the first seed. I have the seed. I have the field. You have the Patriots. No, no you field. have the field. Patriots. <laughs> no, he definitely had the no, field. I, I definitely have the field. Because we both agreed that if it wasn't going to be the field, then it would definitely be the Patriots. Yeah. And you said yes. And I said, idiot. That's 50 <laughs> and then bucks. We, and then we agreed on the bet. <laughs> and then we agreed on the bet. It's 50 bucks you get home. So, yeah, they're not the one seed. So, they're definitely number six on my Big Mac top 10 power rankings. Yeah. Um, moving them up. I don't uh, I, I I don't believe in the Cowboys. I don't believe in them. Now, I know that they beat the Patriots, but it was months ago. I don't like them. I just don't like them. I think I would probably drop them down uh, below below the Pats. Um so you put the Cowboys at 10 and then move everyone up one. Well, not everyone. The Patriots would just move up Patriots yeah, and Bills, Patriots and Bills would, would probably move up. Um, yeah, and the Chiefs are too low. Chiefs are better than the Cardinals. They're better than the Bengals. Mm, Bill, I don't. I know you haven't watched a lot of sports lately because you're on vacation, but I don't know if you know what happened on Sunday. The Bengals beat your Chiefs 34-31. Give me the Chiefs. Hmm. I'll, take, I'll take the Chiefs in the rematch too. The yeah, Bengals are too high. Bengals are too high. Uh, I didn't give you. I, I didn't give you my top. Well, five, then give us the fucking list. You go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not. The, I'm not the host of the show. I just do what I'm told. Bill. Uh, at number five, I have Bills, Arizona Cardinals at eleven and five. At number four, I have my Cincinnati Bengals at ten and six. At number three, the Judas led Tampa Bay Buccaneers at twelve and four. At number two, the L.A. Rams at twelve and four. And at number one, I have the Green Bay Packers. At thirteen and three, the best team in the NFL. Packers, Packers, Bucks, Rams, Chiefs, Cardinal, Chiefs, Bengals, Cardinals. Wait again, Packers, ben, Packers, Bucks, Bucks, Rams, Rams, Chiefs, Chiefs, then Bengals, Bengals, Cardinals, Titans, Cowboys, Bills, Patriots. I'm keeping Pats at ten. I like how you have the Bengals in the top five, though. It makes me happy. Thank you. I'm in my five. I'll, I'll... I agree with everything other than the Patriots being uh, above the Cowboys. Like I think the Cowboys suck. The Cowboys are a wasteland of suck. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll put the Bucks above the Rams because I believe in Brady over Stafford. Yep. And when the game is on the line, 93 yards, no timeouts, needing a Brady. touchdown, and that fucking prick did it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cardinals uh, seem a little fakish, but they still got talent. And uh, yeah, the, I, the Bengals are in, are still in the prove it bucket. I don't know if you remember the prove it bucket, but the Bengals are definitely in the prove it bucket. Uh, they made a big leap 
made a big leap with that win against the Chiefs. But let's be honest, the Chiefs fucking blew that. And we also thought they made a big leap against what Baltimore when they blew them out, and then they lost next week to the Jets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you gotta you gotta win in the playoffs. You gotta win consistently every year in the playoffs. Eat to that uh, fucking memory brain of his to get out of the bucket. To get out of the bucket. So give me the uh, AFC defending champs, uh, Kansas City Chiefs over the Cardinals and somehow the Titans have made it back in here. I know Bill, you believe in your Tennessee Titans. I don't, I don't believe in Ryan Tannehill. I don't think they're going very far. team in the NFL. You watch out when they get Derrick Henry back. They're going to be a force. Number one season in the AFC. Idiot. This has been Simon Sports Show, Wednesday edition, NFL recap, week 17. We have one more. One more of these, boys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bill, you guys, technically, technically, we'll see you on Friday, Ray. Sorry. Bill, you hung over? What's wrong? No, I hung over. You forgot how much you fucking hated seeing me. <laughs> Just Ray's face. Sorry. I'll try to I'll work on that for the next show. It's just exuding shitbag. Just... <laughs> Can't stop smiling. It's weird. Just sweats, cunts. <laughs> My cheeks hurt from smiling so much this past few days. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Irene. I didn't. What'd you say? I said I hate you. Oh, okay. There are people in this world that have spent a lot of time, maybe too much time, in low, low, low points, whether it's emotionally, physically. Um, and when they reach some type of level and some height that brings them out of that darkness, they don't know how to handle it. And they That's are fucking assholes that's ray that's ray right now in this nfl season between his early line success and the stupid success with our fucking fantasy football league and this mm-hmm. joe burrow bet and like things are just going too right he's not level he's his tilt is just too joe far Burrow's off. gonna blow his acl before the end of the year and then that bets is a loser for ray i just it's just it's a little much i don't think you know how to handle it right <laughs> no, I don't, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs>